It's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And I have got a treat for you guys today. I've got my good friend here, Katie Byrne from Beltway Balloons in the DC area. Most amazing balloon artist in the DC area. And she is here joining us to teach us some really cool stuff. So let's give a warm welcome to Katie. There she is, see, Katie, yay! Hey, Katie here from Beltway Balloons in Washington, D.C. at www.beltwayballoons.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make my linking rocket. I originally made this design about 12 feet long, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller today. We are going to start by using link balloons. And we're going to link them in rings of six. Um, six gives you a nice round shape. If you wanted it to be bigger, you could do eight. You could do seven, um, but I wouldn't do smaller than six because with five, it's a little bit boxy. So we're gonna do rings of six. And with each ring, we are going to attach some duplets. To these duplets, eventually we will attach some spokes and that's what's going to hold our rocket together. Um, so this is the first one and these are blown up to about five inches. These are 12 inch lengths. Uh, so they're really, really soft and squishy and they'll take a lot of abuse. These are five inch rounds blown up to about three inches or so, tied in duplets. So this is gonna be our very first row and I'm gonna go ahead and attach the duplets to the rest of the rows. rocket, I start with the middle and I make the middle first so I know exactly how big the, the biggest point of my rocket is going to be. In this case, it's this one. Uh, this is probably seven and a half or eight inches or so. Um, so when I started inflating, this was my benchmark and I went smaller up and smaller down, uh, graduating the sizes so that you get that nice sort of rockety shape. To attach the duplets, since I failed to mention how to do that, uh, you just wrap them around the junction point of two links. And then you can wrap them around each other to make sure that they're secure. Just do it in the same way every time because sometimes you're going to mess up and you're going to have to go back and undo these and it's a lot easier if they're all uniform. Okay, so now that all of our rows uh, have all of our duplets attached, we can attach the spokes so that we can get the structure so it'll be a freestanding structure. Um, let's see here. The easiest way that I have found to do this, and for everybody it's different. For you it might make sense a different way, but for me, I attach the spokes to the junction points uh, that we just put on with the five inches. So this part right here is gonna get wrapped into this part right here. This part right here is gonna get wrapped into this part right here. This part right here. So you're just using the five inches to attach these spokes to the rocket itself. If your sizes are really similar, like these two are very similar in size, you can write on them with a Sharpie so that, you know, you could do one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, whatever works for you. And that way you'll be able to keep them in order because things get a little messy at this point. Hmm. 
when you get to the end of your strands, you can do one of two things. You can either use uh, a five inch here, well actually you would use a five inch attached to this, um, so that you can just wrap it into your duplet here, or you can just use the end of the link, which is what I do, to wrap into the duplet that you already have on your ring. We have our rocket all put together, can't you tell? We're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the spokes down and then you'll actually be able to see the rocket. Then we're gonna add some cool details and just a little bit of distortion. Now make sure as you're working your way down that you're on the right spoke uh, or that you're on the right junction in your wheels uh, because if you go too far over then you're gonna have this little duplet hanging out and you don't want that. So just pay attention. This is the last one we did so we know we wanna go to the next one. We don't have the link. We're actually just going to use a five inch and we're going to tie it into these duplets here. Voila, secure. that we actually have a rockety kind of shape. I like a really retro looking rocket, so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a little silver, whatever, nose of the rocket on there. And that part's super easy. We're gonna make a duplet of a golden rod because that's the color of the top. And then this is gonna be my little rocket nose. So you're gonna tie them together. I should mention that this is for an indoor installation. Uh, if I was to do this outdoors, I would connect this to the flames, which I'm gonna show you in a second, um, and I would use a 260 or something just to make sure it's securely in there. But when it's indoors, this will be fine. We're just gonna take our golden rod, shove it in the top. It's pressure fit, it's not going anywhere. And there's a little tip of our rocket. To do the flames, we're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to use uh, Tropical Teal because that's the color we have. And we are going to attach... What I've got here are duplets of spiral inflated 360s. Uh, Sandy has a bunch of videos on how to spiral inflate, so you can check those out if you need help. I'm going to tie two duplets together. Tie another two together. And then we're going to tie this into this cluster here. I'm just tying the nozzle around the knots of the 350s. So now we have a space octopus. And we're going to stick that on the bottom end of the rocket. Same thing as the top. This is just going to pressure fit. you got to make it really big because you really want that pressure so that it doesn't come out. Boom. But we're not done yet. Because I really like a retro rocket, what we are going to do is add some, uh, some retro fins. So I've made two already. This is where the distortion comes in. These are distorted. There's a 350 inside of a 16 inch here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, you don't need to distort them. You could easily use a 350 and just shape it into the size or shape of a fin, and it would be totally fine. So let's get those done. All right, so this is a, a red 350, and this is a 16 inch red, and we're gonna put the 350 inside of the 16 inch. I just fold it in half, put the folded half into the 16 inch, and then we're gonna blow the 16 inch up. With a hand pump, it's gonna take a minute. And 
we're gonna stick our hand pump in there. And if you're doing more than one of these, then you should count how many pumps you're using. The air's leaking out. You should pump how many counts. You should count how many pumps you're using so that uh, you can make them all the same size. I think I did 14, we'll see how it works out here. So I'm holding the nozzle of the 16 inch and I'm also holding the 350s. So now I'm gonna stick my pump into the 350, scrunch it all down, hang on to everything and blow up. This is also a great way to make a flower petal. Now you're gonna tie just the 350. It doesn't matter if air gets out of your 16 inch because we're gonna do that anyway. All right, now we're gonna let the air go slowly out of our 16 inch. So now you have a flower petal, but we're gonna give it a little bit of shape. And now you have like the perfect rocket thing. Because this is six sided, we can do every other one. And then we know that our fins are all gonna be evenly spaced. And I'm just gonna wrap these in, I think about here, because this is where they look good. And I'm just gonna use the 350 uh, tails that are sticking out. Don't tie the 16 inch. If you tie this, the air is gonna get trapped in there and you're gonna lose your distortion. Um, I don't know why, it has something to do with gas exchange, uh, but the, the 16 inch will start to inflate and you're gonna lose the shape that you worked so hard to make with your distortion. So we're gonna use the 350 tails and tie them into a junction. And then you can just kind of fiddle with your five inches to get it to go in the place that you want it. Now we're gonna skip one, go to another. go to another. You could do these all the way around if you wanted to. It's up to you. It's whatever you think a rocket looks like. I like a little retro rocket with a cute little retro fin. And I think three is perfect. And there we go. You have yourself a really cool retro rocket. You can size these any way you want. As I said, I started with a 12 foot rocket. So I almost fully inflated my middle one. They were almost 12 inches, uh, but you can do anything. You could even do this with all six inches and make it a little rocket if you wanted to. You could add letters along the side. You can do anything with these. They're really great. They're great for a space theme. Um, and I just think they're a lot of fun. If you like what you saw, please click like. Please subscribe to Sandy's channel. Let her know what you'd like to see because she makes videos every single week. I'm Katie from Beltway Balloons. Until next time, go forth and balloonify. I'm Katie with Beltway Balloons and this is my rocket ship.